Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and welcome to Ask Dave Ham Radio Answers number 198. Today we're going to review a microphone. Uh, this microphone is more intended for things like podcasts and so on, but if you're operating a uh, uh, microphone through your computer like you might do with an SDR, this is a microphone that you could look at too. A company from China that's uh, spelled F-I-F-I-N-E, but pronounced fine fine, like two fines, fine fine, uh, approached me about reviewing a microphone. Um, it's very timely as I've been having some um, audio difficulties with the Saturday live streams. Um, they gave me the money to purchase the microphone on Amazon. It's only $30 on Amazon and it qualifies for free shipping. A condenser microphone is usually a little bigger. Uh, most of the time the microphones that you use with your radios are dynamic microphones. So this one is a condenser mic, give you a little bit more audio quality. Let's take a look at the unboxing video. Here it comes. Let's unbox the microphone uh, that looks like fee fine, but I understand it's pronounced fi fine, fine fine, and they make microphones and a variety of things like that. Uh, so this is a microphone designed for podcast capture, uh, YouTube videos, and things like that. We look at it on the side here and we see uh, the USB microphone. Now one of the things about USB microphones is that there will be a bit of a delay between you saying something and the actual audio. Now that's okay because in editing you can go back and sync that up. So we'll take the box off. There's a user manual. Uh, the user manual is written in quite good English and interestingly has a non-Chinese model uh, and it uh, covers both Mac and Windows how to set the thing up. It suggests for Windows that you use Audacity as your software for uh, capture. So there's a little uh, bookmark in here with uh, the company website, the social info, and some things in here about uh, where you can go to find more information. And a little piece of uh, foam rubber. Um, in here we find a little stand. I have found in the past that these stands are not terribly secure so I'm going to use a different one but I'll, I'll show this one in use. And then we have the microphone itself. Now you notice you can see a little bit of white underneath here. The actual element is that black thing uh, right in there. Now this has a standard mount that you can use for microphone stands and the like. And here is a volume control. This volume control uh, is the output level for this particular there you can see real clearly the little microphone element in there. This is the output level. There is no provision here for you to plug in headphones and listen to yourself. The cord is permanently attached. It's a fairly long cord for USB and it's a full-size USB that would plug into your computer. One of the things they talk about in uh, the manual is always using the same USB port otherwise the driver has to reinstall itself. So I'm going to go now uh, install it into the computer which you do by plugging it in and waiting for the driver to install itself. Now note that this is a USB microphone. You cannot use this just with a regular uh, recorder. It plugs into uh, your PC um, 
and it will show up on your PC list of uh, microphones. It shows up on my PC as a USB PNP audio device. Now note that it will reinstall itself if you plug it into a different USB port. So I'd suggest just so that the uh, various software in your computer is happy that you try and use the same uh, USB port that you normally use. That way the thing will be set up the next time you go in it. I notice particularly for OBS, which I use for my Saturday live streams, and in fact is the one that I'm using to record this video, that uh, when you set up the microphones, if you change the USB port, you end up having to set up the microphone all over again. So um, I guess it's a small price to pay. Now, um, the mic has a gain control on the side facing the person using it. Now, this adjusts recording level. Now, there are three places where you adjust recording level, and I'd suggest doing it kind of in the middle in all of them. You set it up on the front of the microphone. Now, this you can use uh, to tweak like you're doing final setup and stuff. Normally, you'd kind of want to leave that in one position. Uh, if you go down to the search for your computer and you type in sound, it will bring up the control panel, sound control. In there, you go under recording, and then you find the microphone and click on properties. And there is another level setting there. Now, in some cases, for example, if you're using it with Audacity, you change the level in Audacity, it will change the one in sound. But I'm using OBS, and it does not change the one in the computer. And I found earlier that I had it set up too, too high. Uh, and so the mic would overdrive on peaks and stuff. Now, in um, OBS itself, uh, there's also a place where you set the level. So I think I have them set up uh, pretty good uh, right at the moment. If you want to listen to the device, for example, you're doing a podcast and you want to be able to hear yourself, you can do that under the sound control panel. You can click listen and it it will tell you and tell you which device that you want to listen on and for example if you put headphones on and you want to be able to hear yourself there is a tiny bit of delay because this is a USB microphone the audio needs to be converted to digital and there's always just a little bit of a delay uh, with that now right now I am using the um, fine fine uh, microphone here. This is a Model K669B and I'm doing a review of it and I'm going to do that by comparing it to another similar microphone that I have. Okay now the, the manual for the microphone suggests using Audacity as the recording software on your computer. I second that suggestion. Audacity is free and although getting basic familiarity with it can be frustrating the first few times you use it. After a while you really pick it up. Audacity also has an outstanding set of tutorials and help software that's available uh, when you go to the Audacity website. Um, again, it is free. I, I like it <laughs> for the price. Uh, I routinely use Audacity as my audio editor uh, because usually, not this time, but usually I record the audio and video separately and then I process the audio in Audacity by compressing it and then amplifying it to bring the gain all the way up to just before you start getting uh, crossing the line there. That way I get good uh, fidelity and it sounds okay. Now, Cyberlink, which is what I use for my editing, uh, also has its own audio editing software, but I find Audacity easier to use mostly because I already know how to use it. Now, I have a number of microphones that I use. Uh, normally, I use a Sennheiser uh, Lavalier. Now, the thing about Sennheisers, of course, you're talking pretty expensive microphones. I picked one up used from my son, who does video for a living, and uh, he had an extra one that he sold me. Um, and they normally run four or five, maybe six or seven hundred dollars uh, for the microphone. It's a lavalier mic, plus the uh, 
little transmitter you can put in your pocket and a receiver you put next to the recorder. Um, and I will show you the use of that microphone later in this video. Okay, now the other microphone that I am using for this test is an M Audio Producer USB microphone that I got in 2012. Uh, I used it to produce an audiobook uh, for Audible. I've done a grand total of one. It turned out to be so much work uh, to get it right that uh, I decided that uh, <laughs> I didn't really enjoy doing that. So I just did the one. And every few months it sells a copy, so I get a few dollars, but uh, not very much. Um, now, there is a delay between the speech and the actual recording. It seems like these days the software seems to take that into account. Um, now, to do this testing, I used OBS, which is the same software I use for live streaming on Saturdays. I set it up so uh, it could use either the M audio mic or the uh, FineFind mic. Now, the mics, uh, the two mics, the uh, M Audio and the Fine Fine, are in a comparable price range. The M Audio was $100, but that included a license for Avid Vocal Studio, which nowadays is the equivalent of Avid Pro Tools, which now sells in the hundreds of dollars for a license. So the microphone was almost an afterthought, but turned out to be a great mic. I don't use it for videos because the lavalier is uh, easier. Now, here's a very important point that I want to make about microphones. Regarding getting a microphone for podcasting or video recording or live streaming, you're not necessarily looking for the mic that provides the best fidelity. You're looking for the microphone that makes your voice sound best. Sometimes there's further audio processing before the sound goes out to the world, such as compression or equalization. Uh, compression causes the lower level syllables to come up in volume a little bit so the, uh, the audio sounds about the same volume level all the way three, through. Uh, equalization is where you may boost the bo the bass or the highs or the middle or something like that. Now we're going to do a test. Uh, we're going to record with the Sennheiser into a recorder. And the Fine Fine and the M Audio are going to be plugged into the computer. And I'm going to record the two of them uh, separately at the same time. Um, and the way I'm going to do this with OBS, um, OBS has um, little controls, and I've got this video set up so I can use both microphones. So I'll turn one off, turn one on, uh, and so on. Um, so uh, let's see what we like uh, out of this. So now we're going to go into the actual test. Again, right now I'm using the Fine Fine microphone. In the test, the Fine Fine occasionally slightly overmodulates, uh, but I think that was because I had the uh, gain control inside the computer turned up just a little bit. So um, it should be a lot better now uh, with this. Okay, enough said. Let's go into the test. It's the part where I've got the red shirt on. We're going to do um, a bit. Uh, at first with raw audio, okay, raw audio, that means uncompressed, un-anything, just raw audio, and then do it again uh, after I've run the audio through a compressor. You'll see that after the audio is run through a compressor, there's a lot more oomph to the audio. What you're doing when you're compressing is identical to what you're doing with your ham radio transceiver when you turn mic compression on. Okay, if you do it just right with the, you know, following the instructions in your manual very carefully about how to do compression, you'll still have excellent audio. All my videos that I do um, have compression on the audio because it makes it easier to understand. Uh, so let's go into the test. All right, right, we're doing, doing a microphone, microphone test. test. Uh, here's the, the test. test. 
um, I'm recording with two microphones, you can hear slightly different delays between them. Now, this is the M Audio microphone. Uh, this microphone was purchased in 2012. I have dropped it on the carpet a few times, so I'm not sure it's in perfect shape, but it does seem to record very nice audio. Now, let's go over to the Fine Fine. Okay, this is the Fine Fine mic. It's actually located over here on this side. Uh, they're about equidistant from my mouth at about the same angle. Okay, and both are just sitting on the uh, their little stands on the desk. I don't have any of the special vibration reducing or anything like that. So let's uh, switch back and forth here a little bit. This is the M Audio. Um, and it has nice tonal quality, um, catches all the little nuances of the voice. This is the Fine Fine, uh, also a fine microphone. Uh, both of these microphones are condenser microphones. Now I'm going to turn those off and try the, um, I just turned them on, didn't I? We turn those both off, and now we're going to listen through the Sennheiser, which is this little microphone here, uh, which is what I would use normally for recording a video. I use the Sennheiser and a little uh, recorder. It's an all analog system uh, into the digital recorder, uh, whereas these microphones that are here, the Fifine and the M Audio are both USB microphones. They plug into your USB ports rather than the audio ports. Let me move this up just a little bit so I'm actually looking at, at the audience. Okay, um, now let's go back and we'll do a test again. This is the Sennheiser microphone. Okay, now we have the fine, fine uh, microphone and now we have the M audio. Now, um, normally when I do a video, I compress the audio a little bit, um, actually quite a bit, uh, because I tend to speak in highs and lows and, and uh, what the compression does is kind of even out the volume. So you've heard this whole thing now without any compression. This is raw audio. And uh, now I'm going to go back and play the whole thing except I'm going to compress the video just like I would uh, for uh, a normal a normal video okay all, all right we're doing, doing a microphone, microphone test uh, here's the test um, I'm recording with two microphones you can hear slightly different delays between them now this is the M Audio microphone. Uh, this microphone was purchased in 2012. I have dropped it on the carpet a few times, so I'm not sure it's in perfect shape, but it does seem to record very nice audio. Now, let's go over to the Fine Fine. Okay, this is the Fine Fine mic. It's actually located over here on this side. Uh, they're about equidistant from my mouth at about the same angle. Okay, and both are just sitting on the uh, their little stands on the desk. I don't have any of the special vibration reducing or anything like that. So let's uh, switch back and forth here a little bit. This is the M Audio, um, and it has nice tonal quality, um, catches all the little nuances of the voice. This is the Fine Fine, uh, also a fine microphone. Uh, both of these microphones are condenser microphones. Now I'm going to turn those off and try the, um, I just turned them on, didn't I? We turn those both off and now we're gonna listen through the Sennheiser, which is this little microphone here, uh, which is what I would use normally for recording a video. I use the Sennheiser and a little uh, recorder. It's an all analog system uh, into the digital recorder. Uh, whereas these microphones that are here, the Fifine and the M Audio, 
are both USB microphones. They plug into your USB ports rather than the audio ports. Let me move this up just a little bit so I'm actually looking at, at the audience. Okay, um, now let's go back and we'll do a test again. This is the Sennheiser microphone. Okay, now we have the fine, fine uh, microphone. And now we have the M audio. Now, I think the net of this is that the fine, fine worked fine. Um, the M audio worked fine also. And the answer is I probably like the lavalier sound better. Uh, it's a little bit more intimate sound. Uh, and I like it better for uh, the recordings, uh, the videos, and so on. It's a little more intimate. I think the sound of the fine finds a little more formal. You might prefer that for a podcast, uh, or if you're doing a software-defined radio, using a nice mic like this so that you can get uh, good, high-quality audio into the front end. Now, note that this mic covers from about 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz, whereas your transceiver transmits from about 300 hertz up to 3,000 hertz. So a much, much smaller bandwidth. Uh, let's see, I wanted to mention that you can actually get very nice stands for the mics. Uh, the stand that comes with the mic, the little tripod, is not terribly forgiving if it's bumped. Uh, you can get a classic mic stand, like this one I picked up used at uh, a local music store, Vix Music, for $20. Or better, an arrangement with an arm attached to the desk with a pop filter and a mic holder that suspends it on elastic cords, which helps quiet the background noise that would otherwise be picked up from the mic through the desk stand. Now, here's what I have. Uh, these are generic items you can buy on Amazon for not very much money. Uh, I have listed on my website, if you look in there, uh, go to support and uh, look up the Amazon page, you'll see a collection of these um, all together, the, the different uh, elements that you want. You want the, uh, uh, the stand, the pop filter, the uh, little suspension stand, and, and so on. Now, the M-Audio producer uh, is a heavier microphone coming in at 14.6 ounces without the cord. Uh, the Fine Fine weighs 8 ounces without the cord, so it's lighter, uh, and sits on its stand fairly well, whereas the little stand that came with the M-Audio likes to fall over. Um, the, the professional stand that I picked up at Vix Music weighs two pounds and six ounces. It's far sturdier. And I would suggest if you're going to use a deck, uh, desk stand that you do get uh, one of these professional stands like I've got here. I'll show you the pictures. Okay, do I recommend this microphone? Uh, it's a $30 microphone, and that sounds kind of inexpensive for recording. Uh, but I think you'll find that it works just fine. Um, it would be a great uh, microphone for using like with your SDR or for podcasting or for recording or live stream or something like that. Um, I cannot use my little lavalier microphone directly with the computer for uh, OBS. Uh, because there's some kind of a mismatch in the input. It just sounds terrible. Uh, so I'll probably use this microphone for uh, doing uh, the uh, live streams in the future. So yes, I do recommend the microphone uh, for the value. It's outstanding. Uh, you can pay a great deal more for a microphone. Uh, and again, it's not accuracy, although this mic does seem pretty accurate. It's not accuracy. It's how does it make your voice sound? Okay, is it tinny? Is it hollow? Um, is it thin? Um, this mic seems to do pretty well, uh, even without compression. So uh, yeah, um, I'll put a link to it below. You can go directly to the Amazon site. Um, and I'll also put a link on my website 
uh, actually I have already, it's there, uh, at decastler.com, and then you look under support, and then you find the uh, links uh, for Amazon, and I'll have that there. I do note that if you purchase through the link I give you, uh, I will get a little bit of a finder's fee, uh, 2 or $3. It's not very much. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a nice little mic to have. Plugs into your computer. can use it for lots of different things. Sounds better than the microphone that is in uh, the computer. So... Uh, there it is. Take a look at dcastler.com slash support. And until we next meet, 73.